You staying home tonight? I hadn't planned on it, no. Plan on it. Minus five, four, three, two, one. Booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery. You're gonna die. I'm Raymond Arroyo. We'll see you next time. What's up, everybody? We're back with a special episode of the show. I'm back. It's just me. I haven't done a solo episode. Well, I mean, Adrian's in the closet. Adrian. How's it going? Hi, it's great to be here. Um, thanks for having me. I haven't done a solo episode of the show in a long time. I think the last time I did a solo episode, I had a summer squash. We'll have to look that up. And I just talked about a summer squash for a while. But today's episode of the show is a special episode. We're kind of resetting a little bit. Giving a little, wouldn't you say that, Adrian? We're kind of resetting? Yeah, I'd say so. We're just giving, you know, just a little, a, a little like pivot, little update kind of thing. A little like make it kind of fresh. You know, when you've been married to a woman <laughs> for a long time. Right. Every now and then, Adrian, you got to make it fresh. Yeah, you got to, you got to spice things up. You got to make, you got to just, you got to mix it up a little bit. Mix it up. Maybe, uh, you know, maybe you bring home some fish. Yeah. You know, and you don't normally eat fish, but you bring home some fish. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe you like, you know, buy a new house. Maybe you buy a new house. Maybe you uh maybe you change up your laundry detergent. Mm -hmm. Talk about something that can be really disorienting is when your clothes smell different. But that's not what we're talking about today. Today I'm just settling in, Adrian. Right. To talk about some important stuff. Um, we want to talk about the direction of our YouTube channel. We want to talk a little bit about the agency, Bummer and Lazarus. We want to talk a little bit about some of the ways that we're going to be structuring content. Adrian's really taken over. He's taken leadership and ownership of the show, my YouTube channel, which I guess we could call our YouTube channel now, Ooh. and more content. Um, what else? Scroll through the notes real quick just so sure. I can tell the good people at home. Uh, you can call in at 817-527-1423 and leave a voicemail. Uh, we're going to talk about the direction of the show a little bit and just give a little update. Give a little switcheroo here. Yeah, yeah. Not, it's it's not going to be a long list. Just, you know, just yeah. a little update. Just some updates. Just now, update. right at the top, some, you know, some logistics, some updates right off the top. I do want to give a shout out to Liv Harrison, who launched a radio show and podcast. Bummer Lazarus is helping produce it. Anna has been like the lead producer and like executive producer on everything on that show. They've worked really hard on it. Really excited for Liv and the show. Go over to, on YouTube, you can search It's Not That Late with Liv Harrison. You can find the show. Also, if you're in, I think, Connecticut or New York or somewhere up in the Northeast, you can listen on the radio uh, with Veritas uh, Radio Network. Really excited for Liv. What else, man? Um, uh, it's summertime. It's hot. I'm walking around a lot with my shirt off. That he is. We'll, we'll just be working here uh the studio and we'll I just see Edmund outside. on his phone calls outside with the shirt off, just walking around the neighborhood. Look, man, the amount of time that I'm on the phone, it's a lot. And yeah. so I try to get productive with my phone calls. I try to move, get up, not be sitting because sitting's killing Americans. And then I try to, I try to get my son in and take my shirt off. Now I realize that people have been catching me on their cameras. <laughs> so now I realize I have to suck in a little bit and be a little more, I don't know, presentable when I'm outside with my shirt off. Anyways. Um, right. And so, it's sometimes, I guess, to just cut in a little bit. We're sometimes we're just so busy on the phone doing yeah. projects. We don't really have time to, like, discuss and figure out, like, yeah. what's what's the path for this project? What is the show? So ultimately we decided, okay, this Thursday we're recording an episode where we're talking about the new path. Yep. Even, like, if we're a little disorganized, we're just going to do it because we've been meaning to do this. Yeah. And Sometimes you just got to do it. Sometimes you got to talk directly to the good people, right. which is what we're doing. All right. And um, so here's kind of the structure of the week. Now, before I get into the structure, well, here, I'll just I'll run through it real quick. So we're going to try on Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash, I think it's the Studio Grapevine. Yes. And still support this studio, support the show, support some of this extra content that we're making. Um which I really appreciate people that have supported the show in the studio. I mean, we wouldn't be Adrian. We wouldn't be in the studio if it right. was not for the people in the Patreon community. Yeah, I, I would not be here. Yeah. I'd, I'd still be a barista probably. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Um, 
so people can support on Patreon. So on Mondays, we're gonna give a little a little something something to the Patreon yeah. community. A little tease. Yeah. A little tease of what's coming up for the week and yep. weeks after. So we're gonna we're gonna feed the fish on Mondays. That's not good, right? No, we're gonna feed the bears some fish. Yeah. We're gonna feed <laughs> yeah. the bears some fish. <laughs> then on Tuesdays, every Tuesday, a new episode of the show comes out. Right. Um on Mondays on those on those special episodes just for the Patreon listeners. We're going to talk a little bit, probably Adrian and I talking a little bit about the creative journey, a little bit of like how the sausage is made behind the scenes a little bit more, right. a little bit more updates, talk directly, directly to the community. Uh, maybe we can even get some Patreon fans on the show. I've been dying to do that. And right. I, think, I think we have the setup now, especially with like StreamYard yeah. or, or Zoom or whatever. We could get some people on. That would be awesome. Yeah. And like any questions they got, mm -hmm. like we'll mm -hmm. answer them. Like these are just bonus episodes strictly for the fun. Patreon community. That'd be super fun. Right. Then Tuesdays, new episode of the show comes out every Tuesday. We've been doing a pretty good job of that. We're going to start getting uh, more guests on, especially from the Grapevine area. I've loved having local people on. Right. We have some really cool guests uh, lined up. Um, Thursdays, show clips. Look, a lot of you, <laughs> a lot of people in the world don't like watching the entire episode of the show. And guess what? That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. God still loves you. And I just don't as much. But we are okay with that. In fact, so right now I want to I want to share a little bit and we've shared this before. The real purpose of the show. The purpose of the show is the show. The purpose of the show is to show up and do the show. So, you know, people get confused about, man, it's too long. What is it even about? That's not the purpose of the show. You know, like the purpose of the show is to do the show. The purpose of the show. Hi, Brittany. The purpose of the show is to be doing a show. The purpose of the show is to get, you know, Adrian can get trained up. I mean, he's learned super fast how to run all this equipment and gear. The purpose of the show is for us to have a show, you know? Yeah. And so on Thursdays, we'll have some clips. We'll, we'll you know, clip out some stuff. We'll put that on social, we'll put it on our YouTube channel. So you can watch little clips. Um, we've been doing a lot of product reviews, just reviews in general. Um, we'll have the guest segments. Then what we're going to try to do is on Fridays, we're going to have more like vlog type stuff. Right. I wouldn't say like my, I mean, you have here my life. It's more like the like vlog stuff, which will probably start turning into more the, the journey of building an agency, which might start turning into its own, an extra show another show right yeah and it's also like like i joined this team right but it's yeah. like how did we meet we met down the street at a coffee shop yeah so we're gonna take videos of us going to the coffee shop together you know what maybe it maybe instead of edmund's content fridays it's just gonna be more like the studio fridays the studio it's gonna be like like behind the scenes of the studio like video of what's going on at the studio right. people are working at the studio we have a lot more people working at the studio it's just like what's going on here yeah and um, then it'll start bleeding into like building an agency. Uh, and then we want to start a Bummer and Lazarus show where we talk more to creatives. Yeah. And more to people that might be future clients or might be people that like we want to share the stuff I'm learning, like the stuff we're learning at the studio um, or at the agency, like the stuff we're learning to grow brands and grow e com brands and grow podcasts and do marketing. We want to kind of share our take of that and document our journey of of growing what we're learning. So that'll be fun. So be on the lookout for that. Definitely go to social media, um, the show on social media, or Bummer and Lazarus on social media, or or me on social media, and you can find lots of clips and cuts. So, uh, so updates on the show. We've kind of I feel like over the last how many episodes have we had, Adrian? We've had a lot. This is one hundred and five now. One hundred and five. Yeah. A hundo and five. Benjamin and, and uh, Abraham Lincoln. Yeah. yeah. And I think the show really is an entertainment comedy, you know, laid back podcast that, that gives current like commentary and current events. We talk about some pop culture stuff. I have to sneeze so bad, Brittany. Um, oh man. Oh, you got it. And, uh, Oh, it's up tickling the upstairs. Oh, it's tickling the, the meat in my skull. Look at the light. Okay, it's helping a little bit. Um, yeah, it's 
Oh man. Um. So really, the show. I think the. I mean, Adrian and I were talking about the strategy for the show and what is the show. I mean, it's just an entertainment show. It's like it's like our version of a morning show. I mean, it's like right. it's. And I listen to a lot of podcasts that are this way. I like shows that are like this. It's like three or four people that you tune into because they just have conversations. And sometimes we might have guests on. It'll be fun. We'll talk a little bit. We might get a little serious. But for the most part, it's just the point of the show is the show. That's the point of the show is doing the show. Right? So that's it. Um, we're going to be, yeah, talking to current events. Updates on the studio. That's where you kind of like are going to hear. I think we're going to try to lean more into like what's been happening at the studio, what's been happening with the agency, um, the behind the scenes, especially leaning into the Grapevine community. Right, Sarah yeah. Dietschy's here. Yeah. In Grapevine. Right. Sarah the Dietschy Dietschy. Sarah the Peach Dietschy. The Peach. The Sarah Peachy, Peachy Dietschy. Right. Sarah Dietschy Peachy Dietschy. Yeah. So she's uh she's in Grapevine. We'll try. I mean, I, I would love to have her on the show. That'd be cool. Yeah, I'm a, I'm gonna reach out to her. I have a little bit of studio insecurity because her studio is pretty cool. I mean, like it's cool, but like you know, each studio has its own like little love, its own right? flavor. Yeah, like our our first living room is pretty sick. I like it a lot. Like her studio is big and great for photography, and right. like it's really cool. Ours is small, but it has, it's got character. Yeah. It's got walls. It's got different types of walls. Yeah. Each wall can be its own thing. Exactly. Yeah. Like, like your wall, your choice. Like, you know, you can have like so many walls. No one will know if we took photos of all the walls here and like people the products, like, people, they'd be like, oh my God. It's like, no, this is just. See what we're looking for is a diversity of walls. Yeah. Like we want all different types of walls represented. Exactly. Black walls, white walls, French cleat walls. Coffee walls. Coffee walls. Plant walls. Liquor walls. Liquor walls. We got all different types of walls here. Walls with writing on them. Walls with American flags. Walls with American flags. Wa walls with lights. Walls with the Pope on it. Walls with windows. Walls with windows that don't really work. Right. Oh, yeah. That we, that's still an issue. Yeah, man. The thing is, is the thing about a wall is that so, like walls have a hard time really connecting with other walls. So like at most a wall, if you think about it, can only really connect with two other walls and maybe a ceiling and a floor. They're kind of they're kind of a closed natured um, animal in that way. Right, each wall has its own story. Each wall has its own story, but it also has Dunbar's number. Like a, it has a limit to the number of right. societal friends it can have. Right. It can only have it, a, a, one wall can only have a close connection with two other walls, a ceiling and a floor. That's all it has life. That's all it has room for in its life. And this is how we talk to clients, people. We talk about exactly. walls to them. So like walls are a metaphor for life. So you need to only have really two close friends that are one type and then two other friends that are very different types. So like a floor type and a ceiling type. Adrian, are you more a floor guy or a ceiling guy? You know what? I think I'm more of a, I'm more of a ceiling guy. I'm, I'm like more that. of a, I'm more of a ceiling guy. I don't more know. Just like, I like looking down on people. You like looking down on I people? I like looking down on people. <laughs> like, look what I've overcome. Look what I've overcome. Exactly. Look at you I, ground people. Look at yeah. me. See, like if you want to succeed in life, you have to think you're better than everyone. Yeah. Even if you may not be, you if, still got to think that way. If you want to go places, if you like if Jeff Bezos, do you think Jeff Bezos thinks I'm a floor guy? No, Jeff Bezos thinks he's a, he's a, he's a, what is it? Sky space. He's yeah. a space guy. He's, he's a, trying to go to space. Yeah, but he's a ceiling guy. He's, he's like, I guy. look down on everybody yeah. that comes into this building. Literally looks down all his Amazon workers and is like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm God. I like to think that I'm a wall with a door. You know what I you know what I mean? Cause like, I'm not just a, a wall, a closed off wall. Right. I think you're a wall with a Kool-Aid man sized hole in it. Yeah. I'm a wall with a Kool-Aid man sized hole in it. And then you walk through and people are just like, wait that. Yeah. Yeah. People are like, wow. Because you beat expectations. When I help bridge clients between rooms, like my client is in a room with walls with no doors. And then I become a wall with a door. And I let a client walk through me, or it could just be a door. But I'm I'm more of a wall. I don't know. I feel like I feel like there's something special. I do feel like I'm special. But yeah. every white male my age thinks he's special. <laughs> and is, are they wrong? I mean, they are. I'm not. Uh, so Adrian is like really running full time producer on the show. Kyle's still here. We're not firing him, but I, we got two dedicated producers. Right. And, and Adrian's like. Adrian's in it hard. Yeah, some days I'm so busy, Kyle's just gonna have to come and you know just step exactly. it up. Exactly. Exactly. And, and I, I like that. I like that we got like we got like switch switch hitters. Is that what it's called in baseball? Yeah, cause we we got options here. 
And this is why capitalism works. Our bench is full. Our bench is full. Yeah, we got a full bench. Our, so, our lineup's pretty sick. It's pretty sick. Yeah. We like, got we got a Kyle. We got an Adrian. Mm-hmm. We got an Edmund. We got talent. We got talent. We got talent. Also, what? let's talk about our talented graphic designer. Okay. So Jen, uh, Jen and Ricky in some ways, but Jen's going to be like doing designs yeah. for the show, yeah. doing more graphics for the show. We're going to try to increase that amount of content. We're going to uh, be posting weekly. Um, I'm the CEO of the company, so people mm-hmm. want to hear that. You put CEO on the end of somebody's name and immediately you're invited to a conference. Every conference. Every um, conference. I want to share more of my journey. Brittany and Allie will still be around. <laughs> Can you imagine if the note said here, Brittany and Allie will still be around, but we don't want them around. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course we're going to be around still. And then uh, can we scroll a little bit more? Right. Oh, and we're going to try to do, I do want to start doing again, like we're going to try to do some extra episodes where like, like I do miss the two person chair, like the two chair situation, but we have some ideas on maybe like we bring in a couch. I don't know. We'll try to figure something out, but right. I do want to like mix up or get a new table or something. Right. So, uh, let's see, scroll down a little bit more. We're going to be mentioning more bummer Lazarus. Yeah. So here's the thing about the show. Some people don't like the show. Most people don't like the show, but that's the thing. You just have to find the people that do like your show and that's okay. And the point of the show is the show is really what we're talking about today. Right. So if you're out there thinking like, am I a wall guy? Am I a ceiling guy? Am I a floor guy? The point is, are you a show guy? And not everyone, not everyone's going to be into that. And that's okay. If you have, if you got a social media account or if you have a podcast, like a lot of this stuff is just vanity metrics. Can I talk about vanity metrics for a second? Yes, preach. Vanity metrics is like metrics that don't really matter or have an impact on like your actual goals. Like my goals from the very beginning when this show started in our dining room that we turned into an office, the goal of the show was just to do, to not stop doing the show. And we've been pretty successful. Yep. I mean, there, we, there's been some patches there where we didn't record every now and then, but for the most part, we just kept going. And look, we're adapting. We're recording two episodes. And here's tonight. the thing. Here's the thing. A couple of years from now, when this show is like, if the numbers start, which we don't even care if the numbers go up, we'd love, for, thank you for your service. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing to patreon.com slash this year. Great Facebook.com slash the show with Edmund Mitchell. YouTube.com slash Edmund Mitchell. <laughs> Fireside.fm slash the show with Edmund Mitchell. Um, that's pretty much it. But, uh, here's what's crazy is like in a few years, if the numbers do go up, people are gonna be like, oh man, all of a sudden, like sudden success, overnight success. But it wasn't, it's like just continuing to do it. Yeah. Um, and also the show is where we kind of like practice setups. We practice exactly. these micro content ideas for the clients of Bummer and Lazarus. Like we, like we actually know what it takes to put on a show because we put on a show every week. Yeah. And, and we you, know how hard it is. Like, so that's, that's the life lesson here, kids. Yeah. And you set up what lives podcasts yeah. by running the show. Running you the knew show. how to run a successful podcast. And now Liz's podcast is popping off. It's legit. It's legit. Um, so how much longer do we want to go, Adrian? How much, how, how long have we gone? I can keep going. No, this we're at like 18 minutes right now, but this was supposed to be an update, right? This is an update. This I mean, update. here's another thing. Like if you're listening to this show at this point in the episode, that means like you're in a special group of people. Like this is what's really cool about pockets. If you're listening at this point at this, like you're a weird bird, like you're a strange cat. You're a, you're a unique wall because, and so what that means is that over time, the show is kind of dr- attract, like it starts slowly attract the people that stick around are the type of people <laughs> that we would get along with. Right. Like it's the type of people that think the way we think and enjoy the things we enjoy. And like, like that's cool. And so the one benefit of it, not like, here's the thing people don't think about when you have a massive show, it's hard to like communicate with people that are your, that are like a part of the community. So one is like, it's super cool to comment, see comments on YouTube. If people like comment on YouTube, Oh, at this timestamp, this happened. It made me laugh. Like we're going to cut that out and we're going to make micro content. That's awesome. The other thing though, that's really interesting is that a lot of people watch the show, 
but are not subscribed to our YouTube channel. Isn't yeah, that right, Adrian? We found that. We found like that statistic of like, I think there was 1,600 like viewers, but that, that are not subscribed to the show yeah. or to the YouTube channel. Right. But, but like, watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if that's you. And like they, their views are accounted for throughout across all videos. There's not one video that's like 1,600 views. Yeah. They're across all, but it's like, why not subscribe? Yeah. If that's you, what are you doing? Like you probably also have a pile of laundry in your in like next to your bed that you keep waiting to fold and it's been three weeks. So why not subscribe? Like the the way you the way you overcome that challenge of of being the type of person that folds your laundry is you just one day you just you just you get up on a horse and then you fold your laundry the same with subscribing to the show. You might not know this, but subscribing to our YouTube channel, like, I mean, I wouldn't say it's better than supporting on Patreon, but it supports a lot. Yeah. Like it really matters the number of subscribers we have on the show. Yeah. It's a big deal. Mm -hmm. So please hit, please hit, hit the old, hit it, hit the subscribe button. Right. And then do something with the bell, right? People say smash the, the bell. Yeah, you got to turn on the bell for notifications of when sh the show goes live. But, like, think about it. We're being so awesome already. We're already telling you what's going to be coming up. Yeah. Tuesdays, the show. Thursday, micro content. Friday, yeah. vlogs, lifestyle videos of the studio on Fridays. Yeah. But on Monday, Patreon. You get to see that all that a little bit early. Yeah. So this is the show. Thank you for following along. All right. And... I will tell you one thing. It every episode is going to be different and it's going to keep being different. And that's kind of like it's like the anti-show show. Or it's not that crazy, but it's like, you know. Yeah. Like like there's it's a it's an entertainment comedy podcast, right? Mhm. Mm or it is going to be mixed up here and there. But now there's a structure of hey, Mondays, you know what's happening. Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays. You know what's coming. And the other thing is, like, there is a place for, like, when I listen to some of these, po the podcasts that I list, like to listen to that are more entertainment, like, there, it's, it's not pointless. There is a, there is a tangible value to having something where you can kind of pause from the world, listen in, kind of laugh a little bit, and enjoy conversation, like, enjoy listening to conversation while you're doing things. I listen while I'm doing dishes while I'm spanking my kids, while I'm ignoring my wife, like AirPods in, boom. Like my wife's like, we the, the, the attic needs vents and I don't have to listen to her because I can have an entertainment podcast in my ears. Oh God. If you have a wife that you don't want to listen to, the show is here for you. If you have a spouse, your body, your choice, but if you have a spouse, and that you just, you want like with the, this is the beauty of modern technology. You put the AirPods in and you can make eye contact with your beautiful spouse and let her, you know, just let her do it. Remember, and you can even react like <laughs> someone got fired from not listening to the show. Someone got fired from their job for not listening to this show, which is why you need to listen to the show. So the beauty of this show is it's here for you. When your boss wants a meeting, you could be in a Zoom meeting with your boss, have it on mute, turn on the show, be listening to the show, and mute the meeting. Like, if, if, if you're at church and you're bored, no one's going to see an AirPod. They're going to think, oh, he's listening to, he's probably you know, hearing impaired and he needs one of those, like ask them, go to your, go to the usher and say, I'm hearing impaired. I need a, I need a thing, you know, for my, that's the sign for, Hey, give me one of these. And then when they give that to you, put it in one ear, but put the AirPod in the other and people won't, they won't know. They won't. The show is here for you when you're bored at church, right? The show is here for you when you're driving on the interstate, when you're taking a poo, if you're taking a poo right now, you're doing great. If you're taking a poo right now listening to this show, it's always about poo, Brittany. You always got to bring it up. Mm. This show, like there's plenty of podcasts out there that enrich people's lives and mm. add value right. and education. Right. This is not one of them. 
if you want to be educated, do not listen to this podcast. Most of the time, I don't know what I'm talking about. That is one of the shining features of this show. If you have a neighbor that you don't like, like this could improve your relationship with them. You could invite them over, have them sit on the couch. You could invite at the dinner table. This is great. I sit at the dinner table with all five of my kids, put in the AirPods, uh, noise canceling, and then I don't have to listen to them. That's a great question. How many people, listeners, watching YouTube, how many of you guys actually know your neighbors? And if you do, comment down below because... Yeah, because this will help you know your neighbors better. Exactly. Because they'll feel like you're really interested in them and they'll feel like they're funny. Because you'll be listening to the show and you'll be smiling. You'll be laughing, right? If, like, if you're in school, if you're in college, the show will help you get through college. This show helped Ricky graduate college. Mm -hmm. It helped Jen graduate something, mm -hmm. right? It helped Colleen uh, move out of her parents' house. When I was in college, I wish I had this. Right? Yeah. And now I got I graduated with a 2.2. .2. Like, yeah. Maybe the show made of it may have made the GPA yeah. better or worse. Yeah. Or worse. Um, you know, if you're at church, if 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 you know, if you're in college, you your professor, you'll make direct eye contact with your professor, but you have the air you have the show in your ears and you don't have to care or connect with them at all or even listen. So right? what you're saying is if you have wired headphones, they like stop and go buy some AirPods. Yeah. Yeah. Go buy some AirPods. Come on. Honestly, if you, yeah, I mean, if you're, if you're on the job, if you're on a work site, I know we have a very large group, a, a very large segment of the audience is construction workers building the roads. Wait, really? Yeah. They're building roads, they're building roads. And while they're doing that very important thing for society, so we can put, I mean, granted, it doesn't really matter anymore because we're gonna have flying cars. Elon Musk is gonna give us flying cars, but you can listen to the show and, and kind of like, you could be in the world, but not of the world is what I'm trying to say. The show, clip this out. The sh this show helps you be in the world, but not of the world. Because you can be near someone, but not have to listen to them talk to you and not have to listen to something. You know, if you want Matt Frad to explain something to you, go let him explain it to you. You know, if you want Father Mike Schmitz to read you the Bible, let him do that. But if you want to check out from the world, if you want to be in the world, but not of the, but not in the world, you could listen to the show. And that's what we're really passionate about is helping people disconnect from the people around them and connect to the people that aren't around them who are on the show and they're talking to them, but also don't want to hear them talk back. Right. And I, I see it as a way where you're always on the phone, always working, you know, yeah. five, seven days a week. Sometimes Thursday nights, you just want to turn your brain off and just talk. Yeah. Just talk to your just friends and everything. Just want to talk to our audience, our lovely yeah. supporters and all that. But you, we know the list of Mondays, what's coming. Patreon Mondays. Patreon Mondays. We will talk directly to you and we'll mm -hmm. let you talk a little bit to us, but not yeah. too much. Not too much. The um, unless you pay a lot of money, then we'll let you talk a lot. Right. Right. But again, not too much. Yeah, but our right. audience knows Patreon Mondays, the show Tuesday, show clips Thursday, the studio Friday, and people vlogs. Yeah, and drop comments in the YouTubes. Yeah. Uh, you know, hit us up on Instagram. Share. Share our post on Instagram. Everything. Everything. You know what's funny is when I've been um trying to be you know project manager of the show, I've yeah. been watching clips before me. I think it's before like episode ninety three. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I've not kept, they're pure timeless. <laughs> it's one of those podcasts you can just play yeah. shuffle. And it's entertaining. Yeah. So that's what this is about. Yeah. That's what life is really about is disconnecting from everyone around you and connecting to people that are disconnected from you. Right. Who also don't want to be connected to you right. that, that connect that closely. Exactly. And that's what I love about this show. So I think with that, Adrian, I think, I think we're golden. I think we're ready to wrap it up. Mm -hmm. Thank you everyone for supporting the show. Thank you for, I mean, it's come so far. We've come so far. And um, we can't see, we can't wait to see what's coming next. We can't and wait to share what's coming next. Yeah, and we cannot do this without you. Mm -hmm. Uh, and thank you everyone for for being here for the show. Please share it. Yep. Shout out Edmund. Shout out Brittany, Ali, Kyle, 
Uh, Colleen, Anna, shout and out look, Betty. Shout out, shout out Betty White. Just because yeah. she's there still. She's yeah. hanging on. Yeah, shout out she Benny beat, Hinn. She beat COVID. Yeah, shout out Benny Hanna's. Sure. Oh, dude. Shout out uh, Benny and the Jets. Yeah, Black Widow's coming out. Black Widow's coming out. We've been watching Loki with our kids. And oh, we probably he's shouldn't talking be. about that in the next episode. Oh, dude, dude Loki. Dude. Um, we're going to talk about that on the show. So if you've been listening this far, you're a special type of person. The right. show has gotten people through missionary work in Calcutta. And have gotten people fired. Ca- <laughs> we mentioned that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We need a t-shirt that says that. Listen, this show helped Colleen get through her missionary work in Calcutta. Like she was able to be present to people that meet need administered to while also not being that present to people when it was appropriate for her not to be present so that she wasn't too present, but was present enough when appropriate and not present when also appropriate to be not so present and to disconnect from those that she connected with. And that's a beautiful thing if you think about it. All right, man. I'm too sober for this. Wrap it up. All right. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> we'll see you next time on the show. Perfect. Let me get that. Plan on it? No. Plan on it. <laughs> I messed that ending up. That's but fine, that's, dude. The, that's, the, that's the show, right? Yeah. It's chaotic. All right. Five. Five. Hit a stride there. Four. Three. Two.